Today, on June 21st, 2024, we take a closer look at the current state of Lake Mead and its water levels. Right now, we're seeing a water level of 1,063.94 feet above mean sea level. That's 165.06 feet below the lake's full pool elevation of 1,229 feet. The water level has been on a decline since the beginning of March, and in the last few weeks, that decline has been picking up speed. The current water level is 114 feet above the minimum power pool and 155 feet below full pool. Remember back in 2022 when water levels at Lake Mead kept declining to new record lows? The decline was so significant that objects long submerged under Lake Mead's waters began to resurface. We saw the remains of St. Thomas, an old frontier town, numerous sunken boats, and of course, the infamous Lake Mead monolith, also known as the vertical speedboat. Thanks to the record-breaking snowpack during the 2022-23 winter season, water levels rose, resubmerging the boat. However, Lake Mead's water levels have been declining for the past few months, erasing much of last year's gains. Now, the Lake Mead monolith is visible once more. Currently, about one foot of the bow is peeking out of the water, but as water levels continue to drop, more of the boat will become exposed. According to the latest predictions, the vertical speedboat will remain visible for at least the next two years. Let's check on Lake Mead's water level statistics. In the month of May, 598,000 acre-feet of water were released from Lake Powell, the reservoir just upstream from Lake Mead. As that water flowed down from the Glen Canyon Dam, it picked up another 24,000 acre-feet from side inflows like the Little Colorado River and the Virgin Rivers. However, 43,000 acre-feet were lost due to evaporation. That gives us a total of 579,000 acre-feet of inflow added to the Lake Mead Reservoir during May. In May, Hoover Dam released a total of 992,000 acre-feet of water, with total inflows of 579,000 acre-feet and total out outflows of 992,000 acre-feet. The Lake Mead Reservoir lost 413,000 acre-feet of water in May. This is a chart of Lake Mead's water level for the 2024 water year that began on October 1, 2023. Lake Mead began the water year at an elevation of 1,065 feet 10 inches. The water level declined slightly in October and reached a low of 1,064 feet 7 inches on November 17. Then, for the next three months, the water level increased by 12 feet and peaked on March 4, when the water level reached a three-year high of 1,076 feet 7 inches. Since then, the water elevation has been on the decline, a decline that has picked up pace in the last two weeks. The current water level is a new low for the 2024 water year. The current elevation of 1,064 feet 7 inches is still 88 feet below the 1,153 feet average for this time of year. The highest water level at Lake Mead was recorded on July 24, 1983, at 1,125 feet. The record low water elevation was set on July 28, 2022, when the water level dropped to 1,040 feet 7 inches. Lake Mead's full pool capacity is 28.2 million acre feet. The average capacity for this date is 18,851,000 ,000 acre feet. The current capacity of Lake Mead Reservoir is 8,779,000 acre feet, and the record low was set in July of 2022 when the capacity dropped to 7,118,000 ,000 acre feet. Even with two winters of exceptional snowpack, the Lake Mead Reservoir remains at just 33.6% of its full pool capacity. That's shockingly low, and unfortunately, water levels will continue to decline for the next few months. Now let's head just upstream from Lake Mead to see how Lake Powell is doing. This is a chart of Lake Powell's water level for the 2024 water year. As you can see, Lake Powell's water level was on the decline all year. Then, in mid-April, water levels started to rise as the snowmelt began to make its way into the reservoir. On May 20th, the rate of water level increase jumped from 1.5 inches per day to over 7 inches per day. This current surge in inflow is again due to the early melting of the snowpack. All of that inflow added 646,000 acre-feet of water to Lake Powell in May. The Bureau of Reclamation must have thought the snowpack would be much larger because in last month's water level predictions report, they predicted that Lake Powell would gain 1,179,000 acre-feet. 
Now that we understand the situation at Lake Mead and Lake Powell, let's zoom out and take a look at the total system storage of the Colorado River. Since May 20th, the entire Colorado River system gained 1,138,000 acre feet. In fact, the Colorado River storage system is currently at its highest level for the 2024 water year. But unfortunately, this system is still holding about 1 million acre feet less water than at the same time last year. According to the National Park Service, more than 36 boats were damaged in a fire that broke out at the Las Vegas Boat Harbor Marina in the Lake Mead Recreation Area. The marina, located just around the corner from Hoover Dam, is one of the largest privately owned marinas in the world, with nearly 1,500 boat slips. National Park Service officials reported that the fire started on Sunday around 12.30 a.m. Emergency personnel responded to the fire, and it was contained within hours. The fire damaged 36 boats, 11 of which were completely destroyed, along with two docks. Despite the damage, the marina is open and ready for business. That's all I have for this episode. I'll be back with another video next week. In the meantime, please check out some of my other videos and consider subscribing. I really appreciate your support.